YouTube, it's Jacob from International Precision Engineering and today I thought I would review how to software correct machine tools. So there's a lot of talk about people making routers, people making 3D printers, things like that and just looking at them you could tell that they're not perfectly straight, they're not square and they're drifting all over the place but I want to talk about how I software correct machines and a little bit about what you can correct for, what you can't correct for, what's hard, what's difficult. And more importantly, I've come up with a methodology over the years that I've used time and time again. So if you follow the system, it should be straightforward and it's a way to think through all of these steps and all of these sort of permutations and things like that. But what I have set up here is a little couple axes sitting on this on the CNC3020, but I'm only using the Z-axis, so the X and Y are separate axes sitting on there, and I'll bring you in, but you can see that they're deliberately not square. In fact, they're one's about 45 degrees off the other one. So how can we possibly control that and get part coordinates into the CNC code and then have that machine do it. So a little bit about the setup I'm using. I'm using, you can see the CNC 3020 controller and I'm using Garble to control it. So all of this stuff I'm gonna do in Python and use a Python Garble streamer. It's like, uh, you know, something I just picked up online. I'm gonna be using CNC code that again is from online. So all of this stuff is available and it should be pretty straightforward for you to duplicate this, again, with errors of your own machine. But just to kind of keep it transparent, all of the stuff that I'm using is open source and the code that I write will be freely available as well in the description. But let's, let's get to it. Okay, for hardware, we have our CNC3020 setup. But it's really just a frame. We are using the Z-axis and then the X and Y axes are essentially just bolted onto the table. So we're not using the X and Y from the machine itself. We're only using the Z. And then we're using that controller. So to come in on the X and Y axes, you can see that my if this is the X, this is the Y, it should be about like this. So it's deliberately about 45 degrees off and it's still producing the image that we want to produce. So just to get this into the controller, I just have the wires and then I made up some leads and bought the connectors to go in. So here's the, you know, X, Y, and spindle off the CNC3020 and then we just basically plug right into that. The X axis has a block under it, giving it a slight angle off the table. And then that, you could kind of see here, it's just toe clamped to the table so it doesn't move. At it from a top view, we have, if this is the Z-axis which comes in and out of, sort of in and out of the camera, the X-axis and Y-axis are together rotated away. So with the tilt from the table not being sort of square to the, to the frame, y-axis it's going to induce a tilt in the z coupled to both the y and the x x axes and then to hold our highly accurate machining tool here i just have a, a sort of dial dial indicator clamp on a mag base bolted to our z axis so so of course it's it's not very rigid but it's good enough and then a trick that I use to kind of hold the pen is I take a copper pipe and, and wrap it around there and then just take pliers and just keep squeezing. So what it really does is it is a rigid mount for the, the pen. If you don't have something like this and you try and use tape, the problem is the tape, the pen can swivel around the bar and it just doesn't hold it good. So, so this copper pipe I found works pretty good. So in terms of software, Again, I'm using the Garble, and I chose to use this because a lot of 3D printers use this. It's great for 
DIY routers and things and a lot of I see a lot of mills mill like CNC mill conversions running garble and in terms of the software on the PC so again we just have the the G code is essentially in an NC file I use Python to read that file in and essentially what happens is it runs through line by line just like a g-code parser and it replaces the XYZ coordinates with the corrected XYZ essentially that you need to run your machine and then once you have that then you can come in and run just with a streamer and start pushing code to the garble itself and then you know that's that's pretty much just straight off the web and then once you do that Boom, you're in business.